Hey guys, what's up? It's Charles Float here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, I'm going to be taking you through one of my favorite new SEO tools slash Chrome extensions slash AI generators slash WordPress extension tool things growth bar. Now, Growth Bar is a premium only. It does have a free five-day trial, but all of the um, available subscriptions are premium only. There isn't currently a free trial at all available. It is a premium Chrome extension that also has an uh, on-browser dashboard that allows you to generate content, allows you to generate blog ideas, allows you to do keyword research, allows you to rank check, allows you to do some backlink checking, site auditing, and so much more, as well as the fact that this awesome Chrome extension that it has is built directly into your browser that allows you to generate content, blog ideas, and keyword research live in your WordPress dashboard, which is exactly what I'm going to show you in today's video. What you want to go ahead and do is head over to the Chrome Web Store once you have your Chrome browser set up and click the Growth Bar extension, add it to Chrome. It will have a little pop up there which will say sign in or sign up. You're going to want ahead to go, you're going to want to go ahead and click sign up, which will then allow you to check out the pricings of the pages, which starts at about $48 a month and goes to $199 a month. Now, it might seem like quite an expensive uh, thing for an extension, but wait until you see what it does. Now, you can go into the, ma the main uh, browser dashboard here and go and do all of your stuff like that, like a chump. However, what I love about this plugin is that you can do everything in WordPress, which is exactly what I've been teaching my VAs to do recently with this extension. So they can go ahead, start generating more content, more stuff, uh, more keywords, more um, AI generated content straight away. So you're going to go ahead and see this button in your add new post or add new page bar. You click it, it will say search a keyword or a key phrase for this blog post for this blog to, to start generating ideas and recommendations and start being able to create content. So let's say I wanted to do a blog post about broken link building. I would go ahead and put broken link building, click submit, it would go and do its thing. I'd start, I'd have to wait a few seconds, up to a minute or so to get all of the uh, ideal stuff back, which allows me to, within the browser, bear in mind, start generating content, the browser, uh, the blog post title, the optimal length of content, the optimal amount of keywords to include, the top pages we're competing with, and a bunch of other metrics like the keyword difficulty and monthly searches as well. There is nothing from what I from what I can tell that is anywhere near to this level of um, engagements specifically within the browser and to this level of accuracy when it comes to the metrics as well. It's been a bit slow today, it's normally a lot faster than this, but I'm also using it at a bit of a peak time and I'm recording videos on a bit of a slow connection as well. But you can see already, it's starting to uh, generate content here. I can rewrite it, I can tick to agree to put it in there. I can start creating stuff on this one, all that kind of stuff. You can see straight away though, the, the initial um, content it creates is not gonna be um, up to T and he's gonna start having to delete stuff, write more content with IA, all, all that kind of good stuff as well. As well as the fact you wanna start optimizing things like putting in images, paragraphs, you have your readability, you have all of this kind of stuff here as well, even your optimal URL that you can use. As well as the fact you can start including keywords like this, examples of where you should include it, the importance level, the typical number of uses it has, and things like that, as well as your top ranking competitor pages. So if you're looking to try and create more content, create additional ideas, create all of this kind of stuff, this is by far the easiest way to just start creating a blog post around a specific keyword, start getting all of the stuff within your WordPress browser, within all of the stuff, without having to install additional plugins, without having to bulk down your site, all of that stuff as well. Now, if we go back to the actual um, site, uh, the actual growth bar dashboard, we can also start generating blog ideas. Now, this is where we start creating additional content around it. So we have our main post around broken link building. We wanna also create some additional stuff that's gonna be within the same topical cluster and within that kind of stuff as well. So we go and create 
generate blog post ideas, put in our keyword about the main post that we've just created, we start submitting it, and what other ideas can we get back to start creating stuff as well. So we have all of these stuff as well around it. We have a broken link winning case study, broken link winning techniques, um, <coughs> broken, how to build broken link building, the importance of broken link winning, all of this kind of stuff. As you can see, some of this stuff isn't gonna be useful, but broken link winning case study, broken link winning techniques, and the importance of broken link winning is gonna be really, really fantastic. You can also then start creating more, you can do all that kind of stuff as well. Next up, you have the rank tracker, exactly what it says on the tin. Um, if you put your website in there already, it will start, start uh, generating how much traffic you have, start trying to find some of its biggest keywords that you're ranking for, um, the average ranking for your keyword, all that kind of stuff. You can also add more keywords so that it will find more stuff as well from the ones that it's already generated for you. Um, the site inspector allows you to also do the exact kind of stuff as well. So you go through and have a look at some of your biggest competitors. Obviously, these are some of the ones that is generated and added in for me. You can remove them or, or not. Um, and then you'll be able to see the full organic report, see all of the keywords it's got there for you, as well as the Google Ads stuff as well for it. Um, and then keyword research, the exact same kind of thing. If you put in broken link building, it will also try and generate more keywords relevant to broken link building, as well as it will also give you your uh, information back around the additional thing there as well. So you've got all of the other stuff there. So as you can see, it's got all of these uh, kind of content and SEO tools in one. Some of the keyword research tools and some of the and some of the um, rank tracks and stuff aren't going to be as good as the other things. But if you're paying for a singular tool that has all of this AI content generators within it, all of this keyword research within it, all of these blog posts generating ideas, all of these site uh, competitor track sites trackers for competitors, all of this stuff kind of in one. This is by far my favorite recent find of a Chrome extension, even if it costs a bit of money to get set up. Um, I've been using it quite a lot recently just to get um, the just to get my VAs to try and create more content and more uh, more content for the site that my site doesn't have already, as well as the fact that they can start creating content straight away if their English isn't perfect, they can just use the AI generator and some light editing to start kind of mass producing content. Um, it's a really fantastic idea, especially if you're trying to just build sites en masse. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need anything from me, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.